I, I can't remember a more exciting time. I mean, I feel like we're at a place today where we can do anything. It's a phenomenal day of talking about the how we're going to use Gen AI, how it's going to impact our industries, how it's going to impact the functions that we work in, and how our workforce is going to change to be more efficient, more productive. The things that our people do, we don't need to do anymore. So what does that mean for us? What choices do we make? How do we structure a program to kind of be ready for that? And it's a big deal. I think your more mundane tasks are going to be wiped out by AI, and you're going to require those people who now have the time to do more complex things that are doing the work to have those upskill talent and workforce that can focus on more important and more value-driven things. So when you start to think about new problems that come up in your business, you're going to start to have a choice. Do I think about solving this with humans first? And then as the humans learn, the AI gets better? AI isn't creative. AI creates, but you still need a human to make that text or that image or that video something special. It's what's coming next. When the internet first came out, it was connectivity. It was connecting companies and connecting systems. So it's what's coming next. I think it's going to be real, real profound. If we're enabling all of our workforce, if we're embedding it in everything we do, if we have that AI first mindset, how do we do so in a way with the right guardrails without stifling innovation? That it's not just about a threat, it's about an opportunity for all of our people to grow and, and, and change.